pie, doggy. And I have made it to pie. It was a three hour winding and twisting bend of the mountain. So I definitely recommend buy Dramamine. <laughs> 30 bucks for a packet of 10 in a pharmacy. So I did buy some Dramamine and I did take it before before I uh, got on the mini bus up to Pi. And I said it took about three hours from my hostel. And I'm like, they were a little bit late. So three and a half total, four hours, let's say, from the hostel to here. And um, it's right now two, so we got in around 1.45. So let's just take a little walk around this area. And it's small. Everything's along the main street, you can say. Um, and yeah, I found a place right off of um, in the bus stop, bus station, a few hundred meters away, and it's only one fifty a night for double. You know, hasn't been painted in a long time, but hey, it's gonna do. And this as long as it doesn't have any cucarachas and you know other things. <laughs> and yes, I'm wearing my vibrams. Yes, love wearing my vibrams when I travel. Oh, this is. Okay. Interesting. Bridge. Bamboo bridge. Look at that beautiful blue sky. Haven't seen the sky like this in such a long time. There was some rain as it's still the rainy season. But um, as you can see, it's all gone now. It's beautiful. Now I am on a hunt for food. I see these bookstores, a lot of tourist places, looking for tours, uh, motorbike rental, ATM, laundry as well. Gotta dress my clothes off. Hmm, why not? my 150 it took me it costed me 180 baht from Chiang Mai to here I just saw a sign that says only 150 back to Chiang Mai maybe since you're going downhill I don't know Five hundred bus to Chiang Rai, and that's where I plan on going after this. All right. So Emma, I met her on the bus on the way up here. She said this Aya service. I believe she said they also have something in Chiang Mai. So if you rent a motorbike in Chiang Mai, you can drop it off here, or vice versa. I believe she said that was the company. dogs. So many cute and fat doggies up here. And very chill, laid back. But I heard don't touch Dalmatian because apparently the Dalmatian bit her. Emma. Oh, thank heaven for 7-Eleven. Yeah, yeah. They're everywhere. Actually, right at 7-Eleven, Thailand has the third most 7-Elevens in the world after the U.S. and Japan. The bus stop is just right up there, the bus station. Alright. Mm. Alright, so I'm the search on the hunt for food. <laughs> In Mongkol, trying to get some food. Oops. 
out of the city. Check out the gas pumps. <laughs> Take a closer look at this. Okay. Yeah. Cool, huh? <laughs> the rice fields, or rice paddies. So, it's about a, maybe a kilometer out of the city center, the town center. I rented a bicycle, 50 baht a day. And at this place, I didn't have to put on a deposit. I just had to show a copy of my passport. Give me a copy of that. Go out of the road. All I can say is that it's so peaceful up here and calm, beautiful blue sky, some clouds, sun, it's about 35C. <laughs> this gorge is over there. And there's a boot up in the hill. 